Hey everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to add textures to shapes in Adobe Illustrator using textured pictures such as like canvas and paper and watercolor pictures and stuff like that. So I used to use Affinity Designer and I added textures to shapes all the time and it was super simple and easy and then when I switched over to Adobe Illustrator I had a long um, time figuring out how to do that and I did eventually Unfortunately, it's a lot more tedious than Affinity Designer, but once you get the hang of it, it's actually not too bad. Okay, so first of all, what you need to do is pick out a texture. So here's my texture for my personal texture folder, for example. So I'm just going to use this paper bag. And just a tip, you always want your texture to be either as big or bigger than the shape that you want to apply it to, because if it's smaller, then obviously it won't fill the entire shape, then you might need to size it up. But then when you do that, it could become pixelated and then it'll look really bad. So just a rule of thumb, when you are downloading pictures for textures, try to make sure that they're really big pictures and not like 500 by 500 pixels, like s small stuff like that. Uh, but anyway, what you do is you click on your shape and there's a little icon over here. It looks like a circle and a square under the fill in the stroke. You click on that, it should say draw normal by default. Just click draw inside. Next, click your texture, copy, control C, and then click the shape you want to apply it to, control V. Now you don't actually have to have your texture in Illustrator. If you have like your file explorer, you can just copy it from your files and then just paste it straight into Illustrator. Um, and it should create this group right here, right? So what you do is you drop it down, select the texture, Go to the Properties window, click on Opacity, and change the blending mode to either Overlay or Soft Light. I normally do Soft Light. Those are the best two. You can experiment, though, if you want to. And uh, yeah, there you go. If you change the Opacity, this will change the Intensity. So as you can see, this is, this is a lot more subtle. And then as it goes up, it gets stronger. Just something to note, um, this isn't going to be the perfect color. It might alter the color slightly, it's never going to stay perfect. So as you can see, the original shape here is a little different from the result. Now if you want to, you can always just alter the um, the color a little bit, try to make it match. However, in most cases, this probably won't matter. It's never mattered for me. So yeah, but you can uh, go back and alter this if you want and change anything you want. So yeah, that's how you do that, and you can use any picture you want. Again, try to use big pictures if you can. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this helped. I know it would have helped me before I started, before I figured out how to do this. But yeah, thanks for watching.